after last game's loss. I am going to do another one. One last game for the night. This is Road to Grandmaster's Rank Duel. Last game got caught off guard, axed in my friggin' spawn at, mm, before the game even started, so that was fun. Well, it snowballed from there. Took my mana buff. Killed me, took red buff. That man took everything, bro. I need pressure. I'm gonna pass the bands. That kid told me not to pass the bands last time, but fuck that kid. That kid's a piece of scum, bro. Fucking waits around the corner at level friggin' one. That's so annoying. It's probably the same kid he been best at first. He's gonna go Scotty. I might go on her. Or I could go Baron. Baron's pretty good. Especially in duel. Cause even though he has Calder, I still like have the hysteria effect. If I just juke the ice and then I ult the ult, then there's not much Scotty can really do in the Baron if I just play it perfect. Hopefully it is this kid, bro. I'm going all damage off for it. I'm gonna transition really fast the second I get a lead. This isn't a terrible matchup. I mean, he does have an SCC immunity, but if I get right next to him and all, and he pops his all, even if he pops his all, I still get the hit for a big damage. If he's weak, I'll use it as an execute because. I don't want to lose too bad. And beats. I need to play the long game. My plan is to just run in circles with them. Hit my ability, run away, hit my ability, run away. So I'm going to go Conduit. And I'm going to go Chronos Pendant. I'm going to go Sustain because it's dual. Abilities. The only reason I'm getting all three is because I get the more hysteria on him. If I hit all three, I'm gonna rush him. I have to put pressure. The more pressure I get early, the better. That's basically what happened to me last game. I got hit once. From there, I couldn't come back. Which was highly unfortunate. I'm gonna take his minis. I don't know what he's doing. Imagine he flanked me right there. That would have been depressing. I'd cry. Keep up as much pressure as I can. I don't think he's playing, but I don't give a shit. Fuck this kid. His name is Sasuke. So, yeah, fuck this kid. He's probably gonna play like him, too. He's gonna play all safe. He's gonna jump on me right here. I guarantee it. He's gonna jump. Wait for it. Yep. He can't juke my abilities when I play Baron. This kid got unlucky going up against my Baron. Jump. <laughs> That's so unlucky for you, buddy. I got the pressure, it's over. We win. Should have to keep this pressure going. Once we get CDR, and I get breastplate, I'm gonna have 40%. I'm gonna have unlimited sustain. Sustain mixed with uh, defense and uh, very safe play style. He's not gonna have much of a chance. He didn't get beads either. He's relying on his CC immunity all. He went shell. It's not gonna be enough. Especially late, that's gonna fall off. 
getting the mana buff for the CDR and the mana, obviously. Just want to make sure you guys know why I'm doing what I'm doing. Getting hysteria effects on him. Don't want to fight him unless he has hysteria. Or unless it's over something. I'll fight over them. Every time he goes to hit the wave, I just hit him with the abilities. Okay, he's just going to keep hitting the wave. It's predictable. I can easily keep him out of lane. Jump. He's waiting for me now, huh? Smart man. Doesn't matter what you do. I'm not gonna miss every time. I have hysteria all over him. The longer I sustain, the more hysteria I get on him. The more damage I keep doing. And the problem is this tower. He can just sit tower all game. It's not gonna work out too great for him. I have all. I think I dived this. You still die. I live. No, I don't. It's unlucky. Doesn't matter. We still have a substantial lead over him. That's big tower damage already. Even if he does come back, I'm gonna get breastplate ethereal, and I'm gonna get the movement speed from this item. Gives me percentage damage and percent damage reduction. And then once I get all that, I can get divine ruin, so he can't heal, because yeah, I know he got chalice. I'm not gonna need anti-heal, because I'm not too stressed about it. Okay. He used his jump, so he has no other escapes. That's free. I just heal. I have to bait him onto me. I don't miss those. That's free hits. Kills me as if I'm taking the tower too long. So if I just avoid doing that one mistake, should be good. Just can't make mistakes. Mistakes do not result in wins. Ever. Well, I probably don't need defense, but it just feels good. Still one shot him even with it. If I can bait him out of his base, that'll help. I see the choices before me. Oh, I just gotta walk through here. Second he goes to auto attack, it slows his movement speed. So if you wait for people to auto attack, it actually makes it easier to hit your abilities and you can read their movements better. Which makes it impossible for an ADC to juke you. Especially as this character. And with the build I'm going, the later the game goes, the more movement speed I'm gonna get. Which is gonna make it impossible for him. And I know where he's going to walk when he comes out of his base, so that makes it easy too. I should have to keep his stereo up. He's autoing. I hit him. Hit him again. He's gonna jump. I have to keep hitting my abilities. The more times I hit it, the more hysteria I get. The more damage that I do to him. And the less he can understand that, the better it is for me. He's 
trying to bait my all. Which makes him smart. Was a misplay. You can't win them all. Well, on the bright side, actually, that might bait him out a bit. He might feel comfortable now. I need blink. He's too pushed back. I'm beating him too much. Without blink, I can't really get close enough. Plus, if I get corrupted, blink. That'll lower the attack speed, and I don't really need Aegis from, from a head like that. It's not too scary. The more I poke him, the more like that I am. I'm on his hip now, so he can't really go anywhere. It's not that big a deal, but it's still like a little bit annoying. I said it's the video for tonight easy predicting uh, ADC's auto attacks is as simple as just waiting for them to auto attack waiting for them to be occupied trying to deal their damage onto you and you deal your damage onto them it's uh, just a reversal <laughs> so it makes it very easy to win games as this character in duel because people love ADC's and Baron is almost like an ADC count uh, thank you guys for watching. GG's. Go to Grandmasters.